Hello everyone. I've been asked quite by quite a few people how I made these honesty seed heads with the images of children on them. And so I'm doing a very short tutorial. So first of all, you need to choose some images. It can be anything, of course, but I've chosen some old photographs of children. And the first thing you need to do is scan those into your computer and then print them onto tissue paper. If you've never printed on tissue paper before, this is how to do it. So you need to take a piece of normal photocopier paper and glue around the edges. You can use one of these tape rollers or a glue stick, anything really, just to make sure that the tissue paper sticks to the photocopy paper. So once you've glued, I don't do the whole place, just in, in places, you then want to smooth the tissue paper on and then cut it to size. So you're just trying to make it the same size as this carrier paper. Once you've done that, that can go through the printer. I've tried lots of different printers and found that a laser printer is by far the best. And if possible, try and find one that loads sideways rather than one that goes round a roller. Um, sometimes as it goes round a roller, the tissue paper can rip or become detached. So once you've fed that through your printer, you'll have your images. There's a bit of trial and error in making them the right size, um, so scan them and then experiment a bit to see what size you need them. So here's my images printed on tissue paper. So then the next thing that we need is the honesty seed heads. I find these um, just around sort of the hedgerows really when I'm walking and whilst they've still got the seeds in them they look like this. So they're sort of papery and have this outer layer on both sides that holds the seed heads and they can be very delicately peeled off. And then just nudge the seeds out of the way. So once it's peeled off, you get this sort of very silky, papery surface. And that's what we're going to work on to um, adhere the images to. So, first of all, we want to cut an image to roughly the same size and shape as one of the seed heads. So I'm just going to cut one out, first of all. And then just gently lay it over one of the seed heads so I can see what size to cut it. The seed heads themselves are very delicate but these stems that hold them on are even more so and I've broken numerous ones of those while I've been trying to do that so that's the area to really keep an eye on. So first of all I'm just going to use some very small scissors and cut it to roughly the size and shape. I need to put my glasses on. If you hold this up to the light a little bit as you're doing it, you can see the shape of the honesty seed head behind the paper. So that's roughly it. And then just going to take off some of these angles, just to sort of tidy it up a little bit. Right, so that's pretty much the size. So the next thing to do is to get some glue. I use Mod Podge, um, it's, it's the glue that I use for all of my collage work. 
I think any sort of glue would work, um, but something that's fairly thin. And I use a synthetic brush, it's a, a wedge shaped brush, very, very soft bristles. And I keep it slightly wet because I actually want to dilute the glue a little bit. So I've actually still got some glue in the lid there. So I'm going to glue the back of the photograph and immediately it starts to curl up because the tissue paper is so thin. So get it onto the seed head as quickly as you can, very, very delicately. So making sure your hands are clean, have a, a damp cloth to wipe any glue off because everything's going to stick to your fingers rather than the honesty leaf. And just gently press it into place so that all of the glued parts have made contact with the seed head. You don't want any bubbles. Okay, so that's now stuck on there. The next thing is just to try and trim off any bits that are hanging over the edge. There we are. So as you can see, it's nicely stuck on there. From the back you can see it in certain lights, which is really lovely. There we are. Thanks for watching.